Hello everybody! Okay, quick exciting tutorial for today. Uh, for those who want to do quick page transitions, if you're building a static website, you don't really want to use a framework just to get the cool page transitions between HTML pages or something. So you can do this and this is the result. So it's a sliding effect like this. As you can see, the HTML pages are changing and we're not going to be using jQuery or anything, just simple JavaScript and Barba.js. So yeah, let's get this going. So I'm going to close this real quick and we can get going fast. So I have two pages here already set up, but they're very, very empty and there's nothing interesting in them. So you can set this up quickly. So all I have here, let me close all of these. So just a simple HTML page here, nothing in it really, uh, just a page one div with a h1 and an a tag, which is going to link to the other index page here. So the about page here. So this is the same basically just called page two uh, with another h1 and an a tag. So yeah, and some basic styling here, just added the background color to each and just added height of 100 and yeah, display flex centered them and yeah, that's it. Nothing, nothing interesting. So yeah also linked uh, app.js here which is currently empty so there's nothing in here uh, to both of them okay so the first thing we need to do is uh, go to barba.js actually we need to go to cdn and barba.js and get this one i believe it's four kilobytes so it's really small and we can link it in here and my Prettier is not working, unfortunately, for some reason. <laughs> it worked before the tutorial, but now it's not working. So I apologize if this looks messy a bit. Save, save. Why is it not working? Okay, never mind. Good. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to initialize this library. So it says barba.pjx.start. So copy that and paste it here. Now it's recommended, please note that the DOM should be ready. So for that, you can do like window dot add event listener on load and then load this function. Okay, but let's let's move on quickly. I expect you to do that, okay? <laughs> Good, so we initialize this and now let's just copy the basic example here. So if we go for, for, for transition and we can copy this whole thing here, which is, uh, fade transition example, okay? So you can copy that, paste it in here. I'm gonna quickly go through this, what it does, but we're gonna refactor this because the uh, problem is this uses jQuery and we don't want that. Okay, so the first problem is, look, nothing's working. Okay, so the first problem is, it's gonna say Barbara JS no container found. Now, why is that? And what do we have to do? Okay, so basically Barbara needs to know what we want to transition, okay? So basically we want to transition this whole page to the next one, right? So we need to wrap everything in this Barbara wrapper and Barbara container. So if we go to the installation here, we can just take this code here, Barbara wrapper, Barbara container. And all we need to do is just wrap everything here in this container. And same for the about, so. Again, we wrap everything we want to transition in this barber wrapper and barber. Oh, okay, so prettier works here. Then why don't you work on the other page? Uh, okay. All right, good. So we wrapped everything. Let's see what other problems we have now. So click um, console, click. Okay, dollar dollar was not found. Okay, so this is obviously jQuery, okay? So it uses jQuery in here in our app.js. So let's see what we have to do here. Okay, so to explain this basically really fast is we have this fade transition here and it has these little functions in here, okay? The main two we wanna focus on is fade out and fade in. So you can think of fade out as the as the home page, okay? The, the, the page that's gonna leave, okay? and the fade in is gonna be the page that's gonna come in, which is our about page, okay? So you're gonna see this this dot new container and this dot old container, and that's exactly what it is. This dot old container 
is our home page, the page that's gonna leave. And this that new container is the page that's gonna come in. So for us, we want to do that slide in effect, right? We basically don't wanna do any effect on this page, okay? This is gonna just basically stay static. So obviously, we don't want anything to happen here. Because on this one with jQuery, as you can see here, we just add the opacity to zero, okay? So it fades out and then this one is gonna fade then the other one here, okay? So yeah, we can remove everything from this fade out. And up here, we can clearly see what's gonna happen. A start function is gonna be executed and then we have a promise all here and when this dot new container is loading okay so when this is loaded our new container that's going to come in and our fade out function has ran then we can run this fade in function okay but since we're not doing anything here this is basically going to run after this new container is loaded so in our fade in function we have the new container okay it hides the old one and here it just sets the visibility to visible. Now, I think the reason why, uh, for some reason, uh, I, I've looked at the console logs and everything, and <laughs> by default, the new container, okay, the one that's gonna come in, is set for visibility hidden for some reason. So it sets visibility to visible here, opacity to zero, and then it animates into opacity one, okay? But we don't wanna do any of this. And this dot done here, basically what it does, it removes the old uh, Barbara container, okay, from the DOM. So it gets rid of the whole thing and we are left with this new one, okay? So we call this whenever we wanna get rid of the old container. But let's remove everything here because we're gonna do everything differently. Okay, so get rid of everything. Awesome, and let's get started. Actually, before we start, we actually need to do our thing in CSS. So we wanna define a keyframe of, let's call this slide in, okay? And it's gonna be from, to, and what we wanna do is basically say transform, trans, Form translate x from a hundred to zero. Okay, transform trend. Oh my god, transform translate to x. X gonna give it to you back to zero. Good. And we also have to set the visibility here to visible. Okay, so we're gonna say visibility, visibility to hidden, visible. I mean, all right. Okay, so a quick backstory of what happened. I filmed this tutorial like 10 times already. And the reason is my recording kept stopping and I didn't know why. Uh, so the reason was I had my OBS F12 set to, uh, to stop recording. So every time I opened up the console in Chrome, it would stop the recording and I had no idea why it stopped. I, I felt so stupid, but okay, never mind. So we're gonna set a new class here of, we're gonna name this the same, okay, slide in, which is basically just gonna take an animation of slide in, 0 0.5 seconds or however you wanna have this animation last for, ease in and make sure to do forwards. So this remains at the end there, okay? It doesn't reset or anything. So, all right, so here, all we have to do is, remember, here we have access to this dot new container which is the about, and here we have access to this dot old container, which is the home, okay? So with our new container here, basically what we wanna do is add a class list of add of slide in. Is that what we named it? I think so. That is correct, okay, slide in. Okay, so now we have a few issues here, but it's a start, okay? When we click this, it's gonna come in like that, but this one appears on top. So what we wanna do is, I left the window open, so I apologize if there's noise. Um, actually, I don't think we even get that effect because I added position absolute on top of these two pages. So let's try again. So if nothing happens here like that, uh, make sure to add position absolute to both pages, okay? So position absolute, there we go. And it almost works, but this pops up again. So what we wanna actually do is 
remove the slide in and call that dot, uh, this dot done okay so it removes the old container so a super super awesome and simple way to do that is we can do this dot new container like this we're gonna add an event listener and we're gonna call animation animation end on this function and here we can write our nasty stuff okay so basically what this does is it detects when the animation ends on this new container and when it ends we can run the things that we're gonna run in here this has good support so don't worry I believe it's all the way down to IE 9 don't quote me on that but it's I believe IE 9 or IE 10 so you shouldn't worry too much about this okay uh, what we al also want to do is the context of this is going to change in here so we have to do this good old trick in the book we're going to say var that is this okay and then we're going to call that here not this dot done but that dot done all right we're going to basically get the context of this up here and then use it down here so that dot new control container class list okay we're going to remove dot remove this fade in slide in not fade in I, I did the fade in and slide in so I'm kind of kind of confused now that dot done and let's see what we have there we go everything works perfectly now if you want to get rid of this weird scrolling here you can add a just add quickly a overflow hidden here yeah like that whoa what happened there we go all right there we go that's way way better good there we go hope you enjoyed this one uh if you want to add with the opacity so let's say you want to fade this thing out if you want to do it here uh, let me know if you want to see a small tutorial on how, how we can do a fade out and fade in tutorial as well. But yeah, this is it. Hopefully it's it's actually not that difficult. Like this is all boilerplate, I would say, right? And this is the whole thing we wrote. And the rest is just some simple CSS and a bit of JS, right? So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Make sure, yeah, let me know if you want to see the opacity fading in and fade out. Also we can also combine this with gsap if we can get some really creative animations up in here so yeah if this was any help remember please subscribe thank you we're almost to 500 subs holy crap so fast this month has been incredible growth i don't know why but i guess hey i, I i'm not complaining okay but yeah thank you so much again and i'll see you very soon take care